We might just get hit with the reaper. Me Millie. Cause we in the field with them birds like we play for the Eagles. I'm on probation, so let me not talk with illegal. Switch it up. Today I woke up with my drinker. She rich as a beetle. For my teachers that said I won't. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Joey Shake72 coming to you guys with a video right now. So I kind of want to talk about the safety position. Now I know that. <laughs> Our weakest position is, is one of the weakest positions is a safety position because we don't have a third safety. Like I just said, we don't have a third safety and we're complaining that we don't have anybody. Now, I understand why, because we usually have Malcolm Jenkins moving all over the field, depending on the matchups in the certain games and certain teams that we play. Now, you have Rodney McLeod behind Malcolm Jenkins at the other safety spot. And then after that, you're pretty much at a big question mark. Okay, and um, you know the safety coach, you know, had his press conference, you know, a week or two ago. I think it was last week, and really just from what he, what I can interpret from what he was saying in his press conference, it's pretty damn open for that third third safety spot. And I don't think anyone's shining uh, in that spot at all. Um, I think there's more to it than that. I think uh, between Jeremy Reeves, you know, uh, you know the 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 undrafted safety. And having Trey Sullivan on this team, I don't know if that's really going to help too much. He said that pretty much somebody is going to have to play. Somebody is going to play in that third safety spot this year. Moving Malcolm Jenkins all over the field. Jim Sports loves to do that. So I can see somebody new in that position that maybe they have to throw somebody in there and see what they can do. They're going to have to because... At least we have a preseason coming up and we have training camp coming up. So there's a lot to see in the next month. Now, you put Jeremy Reeves in there. You put Trey Sullivan in there. We can see what they can do. Other than that, you want to go sign Corey Graham? That's fine. They could do that too. Just for depth purposes. But it wouldn't be bad to give the new guys a chance. Because... You can't keep bringing players back. Well, and look, look, I have nothing against Corey Graham. He played absolutely amazing. For a guy that's 30 years old, he just switched to a brand new team and just won a fucking his second ring of his career. You know, the guy played very well because really they didn't do too much with him. He was just plain, simple, vanilla, stay at safety, play safety, and do your fucking job, and that's it. That's all really what he had to do. Um, but now with... Uh, you know, Malcolm Jenkins moving all over the field. Malcolm Jenkins getting up there in age. This is the one position, I think, not only am I talking about the preview for training camp for the safeties right now, but this is the one position in, the one position on this team where they have to find a star. They got to find somebody that's going to be a, a great safety. And honestly, we've had, you know, we've had good safeties, you know, all right safeties over the years. But, um, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to have to take them biting the bullet and putting in a new guy, you know, whether he's undrafted, he's not, if, if he's there and he's shown he could play, put him in and see what he could do. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's all going to come together in the end. And we all know that, but safety, safety is one position where we need to address it. Otherwise it's going to be really bad. We're going to be decimated at the position. Look, you got, you got two players making about what a, com a com between Malcolm Jenkins and Ronnie McLeod's combined nineteen million in a cap hit next year. Okay, now probably most likely McLeod is gone. If you got rid of McLeod this year, it would have only costed you about a million, million something. So it wouldn't have been that much. The cap we would have got the free cap. We got a little bit over a million. But if you get rid of him next year, he's a five point one million dollar cap hit. Is he really worth? Is he worth that? Is he a shutdown safety? Not really. You know, Ronnie McLeod, he's really took, you know, I've always thought of him as a, a hard-hitting player, a guy that tries really hard, but at the same time, he um, he takes really bad angles downfield to make tackles. You saw during the Super Bowl. You saw, you saw even his first year in Philly. You know, he just couldn't do it. Like, he takes bad angles. He goes in way too fast, and then he misses tackles. He, he, did, he does that a lot. And you need the safeties are your last stronghold of attack because once that running back or that wide receiver gets to the secondary, it's up to that safety to stop him downfield and to have that speed to stop him downfield if he runs by him or that's like the last that's the last bit of defense on, on a defense. And you need to have that 
um, you know, with good safeties. That's what safeties are there for. Um, you know, they give help to the quarters and they make sure nothing gets by them to go to get to the end zone. So, um, obviously. So, um, McLeod is definitely going next year. So, I don't know. Because then I think, hey, the Eagles are going to have a shit ton of picks in this draft next year. Number one, you got a first round. This is the perfect. This is the perfect thing because you're going to have to pay Carson Wentz in, you know, a year. And then... Then after that, you pretty much most of your players are signed to, throughout 2020. Nelson Aguilar's fifth year option was picked up. Now you literally just have to really have a good draft next year, okay? With a first round pick, you got two second round picks. The thirty uh, second pick that was traded for the Ravens to get up to get Lamar Jackson. Um, so now there is a lot. You know this team could be set up very nicely. And if there is a guy that they do want at safety, they can go up and get him. Because there was one safety, what, two years ago that was drafted. Josh Adams, the safety from uh, – Josh Adams that uh, – no, not Josh. Is it Josh Adams? I forgot his fucking name. I think his last name's Adams. I think it was Josh. It might have been something else. I don't know. Um, another guy uh, that was drafted, I think it was – his name is Adams, I think, that was drafted to the New York Jets, and he's been playing absolutely great. Uh, you know, so there are good safeties out there that they could get, um, especially in the draft next year. So um, draft, you know, linebacker and safety, two positions where they need to, you know, Nandra Brown's getting up there in age, um, but he's still playing phenomenal. But getting back to the safeties, not go off topic. Um you know, there's a lot of there's different ways they can go about this, but they're gonna put the best guy on the field. I, I trust in the Eagles organization. I trust in the Eagles coaches that they're gonna put the best guy on that field, even whoever comes in for the third safety spot. So um, I'm not really worried about it too much, but we'll see what happens by then. So I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of the safeties and what we're really going into in training camp and what to really watch out for. So watch out for Jeremy Reeves. Watch out for Trey Sullivan. Watch out for a few guys. Um, that can make a big impact because the competition is real at the third spot. If Corey Graham is not signed, then yeah, then they're they're definitely they're definitely they definitely have high hopes for one of these these fucking young guys. So that's all I really gotta say, guys. So just gonna relax today, chill out. By the way, if anyone front requests me on on PS4 and they don't tell me who they are, I'm not accepting the front request. So you guys got to tell me who you are, your YouTube name, This because there's too many hackers, too much shit going on, um, people getting their shit hacked. So if you front request me on one of these consoles and you don't say anything about who you are, I'm not going to accept it. So you can resend it or whatever you got to do. So that's all I got to say, guys. So Shake Squad up, fly, fly, peace.